Thornvale viewer says for years he's had sewage backups right in his yard. After hearing it may be all tied to a traffic light the county installed a decade ago, it was time to call Curtis. Yeah, backed up lines leaving sewage in his yard. It's gotten so bad he says he now has to have a plumber out twice a month. But could it all be tied to a traffic light? Toilet paper, raw sewage. It's what's left after the latest cleanup of Brian Lee's corner yard. It's not sanitary to have the sewage. <laughs> He claims he's had sewage backups in his yard at least twice a year since he bought the place nine years ago. Now he says it's happening twice a month, forcing him to pay plumbers thousands. Feeding this camera down the sewer line, his latest plumber claims to have found the problem. You can see where they put the copper rod right through the middle of the sewer line. He says it's a grounding rod tied to this traffic light. But Brian says nobody from the Sacramento County Transportation Division will fix his pipe. Everyone points the finger at everyone else. In the meantime, my sewer keeps backing up. But this light may have been installed more than a decade ago. So how long do you have to file a claim? Should he have known immediately? I don't think so. Consumer attorney Bill Kershaw says by law, after you realize the government caused a problem, you have six months to file. When you're flushing your toilet, it's pretty hard to know that it's that light out there that's got a copper rod going down into your sewer that's causing this problem. We reached out to Sacramento County. Brian instantly got this email from the Department of Transportation apologizing, saying we hope to have it repaired in three weeks or so. And we were there three weeks later when a crew came to fix it. Sure enough, there's a rod right through that pipe with roots growing in through the cracks, plugging the pipe. This is what those roots looked like once they pulled them out. Hopefully the days of raw sewage in Brian's yard are now over. I'm glad that uh, you guys were able to help out. Well, the county did cut him a check for a thousand bucks, the full amount he wanted to cover his plumbing bills. The county has since confirmed a grounding rod installed way back in 2003 tied to a streetlight electrical box caused this mess. By the county's own admission, it took more than two months to get someone out there to fix the problem, which was quite frustrating to Brian. Mm. So mm. if you can't get a city or a county to respond, what should you do? Well, you could file the claim within the six months, but one thing I would do, I would reach out to my city councilman right. or my supervisor, and if they're not responsive, why don't you show up to that meeting, the city council meeting or the board of supervisors meeting, speak during public comment, mm -hmm. that'll put them on notice. Well, that topic will get somebody's mm -hmm. attention for sure. Exactly right, mm -hmm. put it on the record. Mm -hmm. All right, if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can call our hotline Monday through Friday or go to our website, cbs13.com slash call Curtis and fill out our form.